Centrowitz out here uh, at the 10, but not running the 10. Not running the 10. You didn't see Drew Hunter out there? I did. I cooled down with him. Uh, no, I, yeah, I heard he was running it, and I was like, he'll wise up and move back down, and that's exactly what he did. I think he got a blister, and he couldn't even cool down barely. So that's – let it be known. Yeah, that's what you get for running a 10K, Drew. So 3.38 tonight for you. I think you're around – is it fourth, fifth? Fifth, fifth? fifth. yeah, okay. yeah. Fighting for fighting for third, fourth, fifth, yeah. In that, like, second group, I think both of the Bowerman guys, um, Thomas and Kieran, kind of made a nice move um, somewhere around 200 to go and kind of gapped us. But, um, yeah, last year, you know, I just felt like I had nothing the last, like, last lap, but certainly the last 150, 200. And today was nice to, like, just feel like I was fighting a little bit and, um, yeah, just, just competing, you know. Obviously, it wasn't, unfortunately, competing for the win, but I was competing for you know, the next pack, and, and that just felt good within itself, and um, yeah, it felt really uncomfortable throughout the race, nothing felt comfortable like a mile should for the majority of the race, and uh, it was just all like, yeah, strength out there, just, I was just kind of like, you know, grunting it out, and um, so I think I just need to do a bit of pace, pace work, race a bit more, and and uh, yeah, get that 57, 58, 59 even pace feeling a lot easier than, than it did today, so. Um. Looking at this year, and well, I guess looking at the last couple of years, so the last two years didn't make the team, made it yep. to Tokyo. You're a guy that knows how to race in big moments. So I'm just like, how do you look at these last couple of years? Look ahead to Paris this year. Yeah, like, yeah. How are you, where are you at? Like? Yeah. So I mean, um, I mean mentally, where I'm at with it, like this is it for me. Like this is my last year. This is it. Um, so. It's, yeah, of course, like, I wouldn't be here racing and continuing doing it if I didn't think I would give myself a shot come end of June to make that Olympic team. So that's obviously the goal, um, and that's best, you know, best case scenario, and that's, that's what I'm aiming to do between now and then. Um, but also, yeah, like, just kind of enjoying, you know, all these things that end up being, like, the last time, right? Like, um, and just, yeah, having fun with it, but obviously still, like, having those pre-race nerves and wanting to, you know, beat everyone on the starting line. Um, but... Yeah, it hasn't been an easy stretch the last couple of years. You know, things actually, even after Tokyo, were going really well. Um, could have been arguably in one of the best shape I, I was ever in. And, and I just had this knee thing that, like, I tried to shake off because it was Worlds in Eugene in 2022. And I ran through and I, you know, wasn't getting better. And by April or May, I had to get um, ACL surgery. So it wasn't like, a minor, you know, ACL is like a very uncommon thing that a distance runner would get because we just run linear, you know? And, uh, and yeah, that, I mean, that was not a easy thing to come back from. I, I was out all year, you know, a full year from, from working out and racing. And, and it was really hard coming back, especially at my age last year. But, um, you know, there were some times where I was like, I had a little glimmer of hope. And, but just getting your butt kicked, you know, time after time and, you know, running 156 and 406 is, you know, when you've run 144 is like demoralizing, you know, and depressing. And, and so it was a tough year, but I think this year I'm already, you know, ahead of where I was last year, 359 indoors, 338 today. Um, and so, yeah, like, obviously, do I wish I could have ran 334 or won today? Absolutely, but it is what it is, and I'm, you know, at this point, um, I got a good, you know, starting point, and, and now I just got to get better from here and, and find a way to, you know, put myself in a position to, to make that Olympic team in three or four months. In sports, it's like, it's hard to know when the last year is going to be. It sounds like you've... You figured that out. You're yeah. Comfortable with it. Like, yeah. Yeah. How, how, did, how did you get to that point? And Dude, that's a very good question. It's something I've like actually yeah. talked quite a bit about, um, not just internally, but like with other people this year. It's like I've been around the sport now, like obviously half my life, and even more so, like before I even got into running, with uh, my dad being a coach and my mom running, and my sister running, and I just have seen so many people, you know, whether they ended their careers in college, you know, early on in my post collegiate career, and up to this point. And it just like it just always it just seems always negative when people like retire, right? It's like I wish I did this, or you know, they don't hold any accountability like of what I could have done better. You know, like they always have someone to blame or wish they had done things differently. And I was like, you know, whenever that time comes for me, like I've seen enough of that that I don't want to be that type of person, you know. And so I've tried to stay true to that, and I just take away all the positives that the sport has given me, and so like all the friendships and. Um, you know, obviously successes and triumphs that I've had along the way, and it's like been way more sweet than bitter. And so, 
the only bitterness really is just like not being able to do this the rest of my life and seeing you know guys like you and other you know competitors that actually I don't really know any of these competitors anymore because <laughs> I'm that old but but see like the familiar faces and coaches and you know meet directors and so forth so yeah it, it, there's no better place than being in the shoes you know and you know I'm sure LeBron and Kobe like they probably felt that way and like even if LeBron goes on to be a GM or like a great coach or whatever like they're still better being the athlete you know what I mean like nothing better being in the shoes and so I'll miss that for sure but um but yeah all positive man just like just really grateful for you know just the career I've had in terms of like longevity and being able to do this for as long as I have and so yeah I just want to finish up on a high note and ride off into the sunset um with a smile on my face so well, we're obviously hoping for the best and hoping to get one more one more Olympic go out of you but I mean you've, you've brought a lot of excitement to the U.S. fans you brought a lot of honor right yeah I, I, I hope so sport. I hope so so yeah. there's uh there's as you said I, you know there's way more sweet than bitter I'm yeah sure yeah definitely that. No, I appreciate that. Yeah, no, it's been it's been a great ride, and um, and yeah, I mean, hey, it's not over yet. We got a few more months, but um, just enjoying every little bit of it, you know. Um, obviously, since I'm not really part of a, affiliated with a team right now, it's been nice just kind of like training with some new faces and and you know being able to be in Park City and Flagstaff and Phoenix and like you know kind of have full autonomy and and you know with my training and my racing and and just kind of going out uh, my way, you know, Frank Sinatra way. So there we go. Um, I mean, I've, I've, I've been, so I've just been linking with like Woody and Abdi Hamid and, and Luis the last, uh, four weeks in, in parks or sorry, in Flagstaff. Um, but I'm like overall, like kind of like, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you need your threshold, you need your speed, you need your long run, you need, you need the mileage. It's not rocket science. And, uh, I've obviously had so many great clo coaches along the way that I can just kind of pull from each and every one of them of things that I like and when it fits well in this part of the year and and uh and you know from today for instance like you know i've been doing a lot of like strength stuff a lot of aerobic stuff and which is great like you know it's better to have that foundation than the other way around and now i just need to like all right i need to do some pace work stuff so and, and for me like i'll probably race stanford in two weeks and do an 800 there and that's what i need to do and you know and that's how i'm gonna get that you know that speed endurance and um and then i'll figure out you know okay coming away from that race you know what do i need now you know and just kind of uh you know just keep putting the pieces together and and hopefully that ends up being uh, an Olympic trials, you know, um, well, I guess an Olympic birth, but, you know.